All right, so this is my attempt of showing you guys how to get uh, Serato DJ software to work with Mixed Emergency. Now, there's been a couple great videos out there. Um, it has been updated since the last one. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your Finder. You're going to want to go to your Applications folder. You're going to want to go to Serato DJ. Okay, you're going to right-click Serato DJ. And again, this is only I'm showing you on a Mac. Um, I don't know how to do it on a PC. Um, so you go to right here where it says you right click to show package contents and you'll down you go right here to it says Mac OS Serato DJ you want to right click it again you want to duplicate that okay you can duplicate that you click on it once to rename it you can rename it scratch oops, scratch live and it's case sensitive so it's got to be capital S all lowercase live has to be all in caps and then hit enter okay what you want to do is you'll probably want like an empty folder like this and you can just create one by putting a new folder and I'll do that on there but we don't need that one there so I have one here you'll just oh, go ahead and open that up what this gives you the ability to do is to open up two windows um, most of you guys will know that but for the guys that don't there you go then you want to go to your applications scratch live oh forgot to mention I am using scratch live version um, let me open this up really quick and you can see I'm using Scratch Live version 243. That's the final build I'm using on that one. Why? It's stable and I don't have any problems with it. Um, you know, I know they just recently released the latest version of Scratch Live um, and I haven't tested it yet, but if you want something that's worked for me, I suggest you do that. So we'll do that here. We'll exit out. Same, you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to right click it, show package, down, you're going to go to Mac OS. Here we go. What you want to do is you want to write, um, you want to click on it, scoot it over, and you're going to write old. Okay? So that way it knows that it's your old um, OS, I mean your old Scratch Live. You're going to want to carry the, the new one over, oops, pardon me, and carry the new one over to, and drop it into Mac OS. So that will give you the Scratch Live, Scratch Live old. Okay? You're going to leave that there. Now the second part of it is you're going to want to co uh, copy all the contents, the code, sign uh, code signature frameworks over to the new contents folder. So just drag that over, put it in there. Same thing here. Oops. Is that? Um, you can leave the, the P list there. It's fine. And also with the package info, not a big deal doesn't affect anything resources now when you drop the resources in you'll see right now go ahead it's gonna ask you if you want to replace it hit yes you need to go ahead and replace that go with that then you're gonna to want to go ahead and oops go down here you're gonna open scratch live scratch live will have a new icon it's not gonna have that icon but if you do want that icon you could go into show info this is something I learned um, the other day. And where did I save it here? Pretty sure I saved it. Well, maybe I didn't save it here. Um, anyways, you could drag the old icon into here, uh, but if you don't want to, it's not a big deal. It doesn't change anything. It still works perfectly fine. So you'll click on this. Takes a second to load. Boom. You tricked it into telling it it's uh, Serato DJ. Now you might think that it's Serato DJ version 1.12, 1, uh, but if you actually go here, it kind of dubs over. Go to the setup. You go down here to this bottom section. It's uh, version 2.43, so it's kind of like a hybrid mix between Serato DJ and um, and Scratch Live. So, and then you have all the settings for. Um, for the um, Serato DJ, which is what you want. Um, other than that, then you'll go ahead and you'll fire up Mix Emergency. And what Mix Emergency, you have to set it, so most likely it will be set, but it, you don't have it on Mix Emergency, but you want it on Scratch Live. When you get that green light, that means that this, the program is talking to it. Um, so uh, you'll go ahead and move the fader over here because this is for preview. Uh, let's just put this video in here. And as you can tell, it's already loaded. You can go ahead and start it. All the effects work. Let's get strips going here. So, 
answers that. That's kind of how that works. Um, you'll be good to go. All right, you have all full functionality of Mix Emergency, however you want it to work, look, everything is, is perfectly fine. Um, and it works great when you plug in your DDJSX. If you have any questions, here's my Twitter, uh, Twitter go ahead and ask away, uh, at djavenue.com. I'm sorry, excuse me, at djavenue is my Twitter handle. So go ahead and go from there. But uh, until then, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.